Drake should have just pulled out the white flag while he still had the chance to because the aftermath of this beef with Kendrick is really not going in his favor. Again, there's some things that are coming out that just seem like he's really lost the beef. So today, we're gonna go over those, so let's jump straight into this. If you wanna stay up to date with everything surrounding hip hop, make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our Discord server in the description. So y'all remember the Drake and Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole beef that went down two months ago, one month ago, uh, along that period. And over the past two weeks, we've talked about the aftermath of this. Because at the end, nobody was a clear winner. We had allegations from one side, from Drake, that, you know, one of the Kendrick's kids was day freeze and that Kendrick is beating his wife. We've had the Kendrick allegations that Drake had another child, but there wasn't a clear winner. And then things started coming out like the Ebony Prince 2K24 situation, where we could tell that those items on the covers for Kendrick's diss tracks weren't actually fed by Drake like he claimed or that it wasn't as deep as he claimed but rather that Kendrick was supplied them by somebody who retrieved them from Drake after he lost them at the Mark Hotel. So that was one situation going on where really it was unclear whose side you could be on and then the last video that I made on this was about the ghostwriting and reference tracks that leaked from Mob Ties off of Scorpion that Vori did, and then also we've had one for Ratchet Happy Birthday that PND did, and it all seemed like a lot of things started coming out that made Drake look bad, and that made it really hard for fans to defend him, and that is exactly what I said in that video. And now Drake is also fueling that entire not making a case for himself by doing a couple of things that are just pretty weird and that make you question whether he himself is even convinced, you know, still that he won the beef because either side thought that they won. Now, the obvious thing, the thing that I wanted to talk about is that he deleted any trace of the beef from his Instagram profile. And that is also the main thing that most sources were talking about because previous to yesterday, he still had posts up and reels up where he was promoting stuff like push-ups, the first disc that he dropped, then also Family Matters, and also last one, which was the hard part six, which was his final response. And Kendrick then, you know, before like that drop, not like us, but the hard part six was really the thing where a lot of people thought he got exposed because he was very defensive on that track, and it just seemed like he wanted to end this beef with a neutral feel, like that nobody really won, but he wanted to make it seem like he won, if that makes sense. But he deleted all of this off of his Instagram. Now maybe he's just preparing to release new music. That could very well be, and that is most likely what he's doing. It just seems very weird that while we are discussing a lot of the aftermath of the beef, and while all of those things are coming out that make him look bad, he's deleting all of it and making it seem like he himself is not convinced that he won anymore. And you also got to consider that him deleting, for example, the hard part six, which on Instagram, that was, I mean, he didn't upload it on Spotify or, you know, streaming platforms. So Instagram or Twitter was the only platforms that you could really listen to the hard part six and YouTube, I believe. So all of this makes it seem like you know, he's not as standing behind that track as he once was. He might have put it up on streaming platforms actually for a little bit, but then took it off again. So it's, it's very weird that he's not, you know, supporting those songs anymore, pushing them out. Meanwhile, Kendrick's track, Not Like Us, is going crazy. You might have seen it being used in a weather report. I mean, that's not the important thing. But that song is going crazy commercially and everybody's playing it. And that is, of course, feeding into the narrative that Kendrick really dominated this battle and that Kendrick put out the better songs and the better diss tracks that are still being spun a month after they come out while Drake is deleting his. So that dichotomy just makes it seem, you know, kind of weird. And you gotta consider, somehow Kendrick stole every person's ability to make good songs and rap. Because, I mean, I went over this in the J. Cole video that I did on that new song, Grippy, where a lot of people complained about that because I was being too harsh on Cole, but I've, I haven't seen a single positive, real positive thing about that verse. It was honestly his worst verse 
that he's done in a very long time. And it just seemed very weird that after pulling out of the beef, the first feature, the first verse that we hear from Cole is as bad as this. And it just seemed like Kendrick really took everybody's ability to put down some good bars. And if you look at what Drake dropped since the beef, it was that sexy red feature, You My Everything, where he was... I don't know if it was meant to be funny or if it was meant to kind of be a subliminal, but he rapped over the BBL Drizzy beat that Metro did as a diss towards Drake, which seemed kind of weird, but that was not even everything because a couple of days ago, you might have seen this, it's not on streaming, but there was this track that appeared on social media by Snow Day and featuring Drake called Wagwan Delilah, which is a, a Patwa version of Hey There Delilah, and it's horrible, and people are still debating over whether this is AI, but if you're debating whether a track is AI because it's so bad, then it's really not a good look, and if this isn't AI, then it's horrible. So hopefully this doesn't come out as a real Drake feature, because if this isn't AI, I don't know. Kendrick just took everybody's ability to rap. J. Cole did Grippy, Drake is doing Wagwan Delilah, it's weird, like, it, 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 at the end it all seems like Kendrick really comes out the winner on this. He dropped a couple of really good tracks, you know, kind of made everyone silent, and now it's just dipping and enjoying his win. So that's how I see it. But, of course, Drake is in a very interesting position. He is now also supposed to be dropping new music pretty soon. He said that there are summer vibes up next, whatever that means. And I talked about it in the other video as well. That album or that new music will be very very important because after you lose a beef question mark the next thing that you do after that is going to be very important and so far it's not looking good with that sexy red feature and the wagwan delilah so whatever summer vibes he's got it, they really need to come through they really need to be real good for him to actually not lose a lot of credibility in this it's drake everybody's still gonna listen but a beef like that can really, you know, have a great hit on your credibility. The Pusha T beef didn't go unnoticed. I mean, Drake only continued to get larger as an artist after that. But still, it, it's something that we have in the back of our minds as like, oh shit, Drake lost the beef to Pusha T. And now he lost the beef to Kendrick. So, I don't know. It's not the best, you know, actual track record you can have when it comes to hip-hop beefs. But obviously... That's a little bit my opinion. I mean, that's all my opinion. But let me know what y'all think about it. Do you think that the song Wagwan Delilah is real or is it AI? And do you kind of see the same pattern of people who were involved in the beef just dropping ass music ever since the beef? And that Kendrick won because it's just a lot of weird stuff coming out about Drake after the fact now. Let me know all your thoughts and what you think about this entire situation in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.